It's actually kind of loud in my ear. <laughs> Alrighty. Well. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward, the Nonary Games. Um, this is probably going to be the finale, because we've only got one ending left. So, yeah. Let us see where it takes us. I'm also using a controller, I just realized, for some reason, when I... I'm not... I don't use a controller for this game. Also, there's like a YouTube thing right there. There we go. Those YouTube notifications are actually kind of a pain in the neck. Um, did I, did I actually do a proper intro? Hello and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. I'm Rene Sitchi as always. And, uh, yeah, spoiler warning. I mean, this is session 13 if, if you can't read that. As I said though, probably the finale. Don't follow me! Go find the others. I could hear her following me, but there was no time to argue. After all, we had like three minutes. Instead, I focused on my goal. There was still time. So, uh, last time, we discovered the location of the Zero Bomb? I think? Did we? Because I don't remember it ever being brought up, but for some reason that unlocked this ending, so we're doing it. But yeah, I believe this is actually like the final route in the game and everything. So, uh, if we finish, and when we finish this before the three hour mark, um, I'll probably play some like dot hack or something. That'd be, that'd be good. Feel like some dot hacking before I go back to Final Fantasy-ing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Should be between these AB rooms. Good, I was right. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Achievement. How much time do we have left? About a minute. Chat! Hurry. I'm hurrying as fast as I can. I need my notepad. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, why isn't there an open recent button? Would that just make too much sense? Uh, VLR 2. Okay. The input device was plugged in. I was ready to go. Now I just had to enter the password. But, uh, what, what was the password? I, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd already used up my third time charm. Eh, don't worry about it, Sigma. I've got a... I've got a thing. Still, I had to try. I shook my head and concentrated. There it was, laid before us. The password to the Zero Bomb is LXA QNS... Game's done quick. <laughs> it, it stopped. Yeah. Fine, I crumpled to the ground. The adrenaline that had sustained us suddenly gone. Until we realized we were gonna die if we didn't get into a door. <laughs> It's, uh, hard to explain. The short version is that Dio hid something here, in another timeline. I guess maybe he'd put the bomb here, too. Midons. Yeah. Oh, I don't need any thanks. Okay, maybe a little. Just, uh... Just what? About that swimsuit you promised. What? What on earth are you 
talking about? Was that in this timeline? <laughs> oh, right. We need to hurry. Everyone else is waiting for us in the floor B warehouse. <laughs> um, what about the swimsuit? What the hell are you going on about? Just go. <laughs> Poor Siggy. Before I could protest, she turned and ran toward the magenta door. I sighed and headed off after her. Ha. Huh. Uh, good old Siggy. Always run by his crotch. I ran into the warehouse to find everyone else already there. They'd done as Fi asked and brought the three unconscious members of our party back to the doors. Fine, I shared a quick glance, then headed over toward them. Yeah. I could have done it in my sheep. Don't you mean in your sleep? No! I meant in my sheep! Thank you so much! Yeah. Good job, you guys. Did, does Sigma have a sheep back home? No need to thank me. Although, I mean, if you insist, I uh, wouldn't mind a little swimsuit time. Wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> One minute remains until chromatic Sigma truly, this is not the time, nor the place. We need to hurry. Everybody know who's in their group? Yeah, I'm set. Alright. So let's move. At Ten Myoji's command, we broke off into our teams. Uh yeah, this is the final route. Um, more importantly. There is one left. So we've got one puzzle left to do, boyos. Kay carried Cork on his back and dragged Dio along the floor and through the white door on the left. Clover and Luna carried Alice through the door on the right. And Tenmyoji, Fai, and myself ran through the center door. Ten seconds remain until, until chromatic doors close. close. Nine, eight, eight, seven, seven six, five, five, four, three, two, two one. one! And then we lose our arm again. <laughs> I wonder if Luna is still a robot in this timeline. I don't see why she wouldn't be, though. Q? Q? What the crap is Q? Um. Did I go into that one room that's in dot hack? <laughs> what the hell? There's nothing here. Well, there are doors. The one we came in. And that one, which I'm assuming is the exit. I hope no one's being too blinded by this. <laughs> yep, figures won't budge. The plaque on the door just said Q. Q? -Q? What the hell's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Well, I I guess it is a very questionable room. There was a deck of cards here. Maybe the cue would be for queen. That's a quality guess right there. Get it? Because right. quality stands for, starts with Q. Let's find a way to get the door open. Ha ha ha. Anyway. We also need to find the star keys. I've got enough key to open the door. 
You guys need to play the AB game some more. Yeah. Yeah, we still need a few more points. We can get those star keys. We should be able to play the AB game as many times as we need to. So... It's just a matter of time until we get the points we need. Right. Sweet. Well, let's get started then. Good. Okay. Seek a way out of this of this white room. <laughs> um so I don't even know where to begin. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? The room's empty. Wait. Do you hear something? Huh. Well, how much you want to bet it has something to do with that? Guess we should go uh, have a look. I think this cube is just floating here. How the hell is it doing that? Who knows? Can't tell just by looking at it. Why don't you touch it and see if anything happens? Am I playing Minesweeper? I am playing Minesweeper! <laughs> hmm, I don't understand what's going on here. Have another look at it, huh? The cube, look at it again. There are winning and losing panels on the wall. The cube can help you find the winning panels. When the winning panels and only the winning panels are highlighted in Siam, the system will activate. Here is how you find them. When you click a panel on the cube, it will display a number. Each surrounding panel will also display a number. This number indicates the number of winning panels that border each panel. For example, and that'll be three because it borders itself. Okay. The hint that appears on the cube is different for each side. Hypothetically, if the wall with the exit is the north wall, then the wall to the right of that would be east, then the wall next to it would be south, and the wall to the left of that would be west. That would mean that a hint that appears on the west side would actually refer to the east wall. A hint that appears on the north side would actually refer to the south wall. And a hint that appears blah 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 blah. Adjacent walls don't provide hints for one another. Each hint is specific to that wall. That means that even if there are winning panels on the border with an adjacent wall, those panels will not be reflected in the initial panel's numbers. There are a total of eight puzzles hidden in the walls. Click the floor to view this message one more time. After that, it will be gone forever. Okay. Well, let's start with the north wall, then. I... I didn't want to click on the floor, dang it. Okay. Um. We're gonna have to memo this one out, I think. Alright. So we can roll out all that. That one has a one, that one has a two, this one has a three. If that's three and two, and that's three and three, that would mean, um, those two, right? Because to have three bordering, well, no, that's not entirely, that's not necessarily the case. If it was a four, that would mean what I think it means, but, well, the only ones are on that left side. It makes sense because the door is here, so. One and two. If it's one and two, that would mean that this one's also. You know, green is easier to see, isn't it? Um. The thing is, if this is two, that would mean. No, yeah, that makes sense. And then that's one and three. That's one and two, so that also has to be one. 
Um, I'll put it here. Okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So if we look at the wall and go... One, two, three, four. It does that. Whoa, what the hell? Hmm, interesting. So that's how this one works. Looks like there are more of them. We should keep looking. It's got some kind of weird pat. It's got some kind of weird patterns on it. Nothing happens if I touch them though. Maybe something's missing. Like what? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's look at this one. Uh, clear this out. Okay. If that's three and two, that would mean... Oh, hey! I can actually freeze it in place. That's pretty cool. Um, if I do it that way, that means this one's one. Does that make sense? That one's one. Yep, oh, that makes sense. Anywhere else on the wall, or are we good? Oh, yep. We have a one and two there, so that's got to be that one and this one. Uh, anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, that makes sense, because this thing is now in the... What? Wait, no. Hold on. Okay, this is starting to get pretty freaky. Um, let's see. Ugh. I'll just have to do it by memory. Okay. Well, it's not this one. So that one's the bottom corner. In fact, I'll mark the corners, that way, um, we have that. Okay, if that's two and that's three, if this is three and those are two, then it has to be this one, this one, and this one. Maybe I should go get some grid paper. <laughs> That'll take a trip to the store in the middle of a stream, though, and I don't know if that's a, a great idea. But, uh, you know. Okay. Yep, that makes sense, except for the fact... No, yeah, yeah. If that one's two, then that also makes sense. Um, and that border's two. Okay. So, that's it for this part. Anything else on any of the other corners? Or are we good? Oh, yep. Okay, so there's one here as well. So, two up. Okay. Whoops. Uh, this. Okay, uh, so one, two, three. Okay. This is pretty cool, but also weird. And one, two, just this one, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, we're doing the dart puzzle again. <laughs> Alright. This is actually starting to seem kind of like an amalgamation of a bunch of old puzzles. F four! Okay, well, if it's a four there, that means that each and every one of these is... Er, oops. Okay. If that's four and that's three, this one has to be one. And... 
This one has to be one because that's three. Wow, a lot of this wall is gonna get lit up. Um, bordering four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because the other one's a one, so. Forgetting how to do this suddenly. <laughs> okay. Um, one, two. The third one has to be this one then. Except for the fact that this one's also three and that one's also four. So it's actually painting quite a large picture across this thing. Oh, hey, that's a four. It helps to find fours on the edges, that's for sure. Nothing on the top, it's all on the bottom. Actually, if you find a one on the edge, that's also helpful, so. And that one should also be one, okay. That one's a zero, that one's a two. Hmm. Uh, three and four, um, hmm. Well, if that one's two, then that one fulfills the conditions. If this one's three, that's weird. <laughs> okay. One, two... Okay, so it has to be this one. And if I do that, that means that this one borders one, two, and three. So all the rest can't be. Wait. If that one's two, yeah. yeah. And if that one's three, then it has to be this one. Yep. Okay. I think I've got a clearer picture now. So, one, two, three, four... What? Okay. <laughs> uh, five, six... Seven... Okay, so this is like a, a final quiz. This is really neat. And very strange. Okay. That's all of them. Alright. Um, now for the fun part. Alright, let's see. There's this thing and this thing. Change the colors to correct ones by pressing the hexagons and triangles. Remember, you only have five moves. Huh, I feel I've done this puzzle somewhere before. Ah, well. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay. And we need to turn all of these red. How are we going to do that? Well, let's see. If we start here, that does that. And then if we do this... No. No, that's, that's not right. That's almost right, but not quite. Um, mm, I feel like I'm onto something whenever I do that, but at the same time, it's like not quite working out. If I do this one, that does that. If I do this, that does that. If I can just turn like one of them completely green. Okay. Could be at this a while. Remember how long it took me the last time. Uh...
Ha! Got it. Okay. <laughs> did, did I solve it? Yeah, that must be the answer. Look. Glass doors. They're open. Well done. That was some good work, Sigma. It's a binder. Let's have a look. There's only a single piece of paper in here. It says, uh, Q Chamber Special AB Game. Q Chamber what? Three people will definitely choose the ally. Three definitely will choose Betray. One is a mysterious mirror man. He will always do whatever his opponent does. Strive for nine with six cooperators. We must be the only ones to surpass nine. Interesting. And a memory card with the words AB written on it. Or the letters, I guess, would be a more correct term. Are those missiles? They're darts! Look over here. I think that's a green memory card. We can't get it out, though. The glass is covering it. I think we can get some darts out, though. Okay, I'll grab a couple. Looks like this is the scoreboard for a dartboard. Board, 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 board. Uh, um, I need... The injection gun! No. Um... <laughs> Darts poster. Okay. Doesn't tell me what score I need, though. That's a dartboard. I, I remember seeing this before. Come on, who hasn't seen a dartboard before? No, I mean, like, I actually have seen this. One, two, three. Okay. We're doing this again. No, that's not what I mean. I feel like I've seen it somewhere in this building before. It's just, this board is different from a normal dartboard, you know. Hmm. Let's try it out. What do you mean, try it out? Isn't that obvious? There's only two ways to do use a dartboard. If you use it to hold pizza, you throw darts at it. You've got some darts, don't you, Sigma? Maybe you could try throwing them. Get a score of 100 with three darts. However, the first dart must land in the green area, the second in the blue, and the red, third in the red. To throw a dart at a particular area, drag and then release. Huh, that's weird. I could have sworn I've seen these darts before somewhere. Eh, whatever, time for some darts. Okay. Um, it actually seems like it's the same exact solution. I just don't have those notes with me anymore. Or, actually, do I? No. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Uh, let's bring VLR2 back into play, and let's go. Uh, is it on the other one? I- I don't even know what puzzle this is for. <laughs> okay. So we're aiming for a hundred. Well, the first one must be green. So our possibilities for green are... Nine... Twenty-something... 27, um, 16, well, if we get a 27 with it, that's pretty good. If we get this, that's even better. Okay, that's 39. Second must be blue. Uh, let's go here. And that gets me nowhere close unless we get a really, really high score. Like that! Yes! <laughs> that, that was pure dumb luck or pure recollection. I'm not entirely sure which. Ha! Piece of cake! You see that? My dart skills are undeniable. Yes, I saw it quite clearly. It was very nice. Do you really think you had to stand the whole 2 meters and 37 centimeters away from the dartboard, though? I'm a fair man. My high school voted me most likely to be a judge, you know. Okay, okay. That's great and all, but look. See the display case? It's open. Great. Now we can get that green memory card. Hmm, we're gonna have to pull out all the stops on this job. You sound like you're in a heist movie. 
Should I have worn a cat suit? Ugh, I think I just throw up a little. Besides, everybody in a heist movie wears a sweet suit. I want to watch Ocean's Eleven suddenly. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got? Um, looks like four purple books. Let's go through each one of them. What the? There's nothing written here. Huh? I mean, all the pages are blank. Are the other books the same? Let's have a look. Yeah, there's nothing here. This one's blank too. Huh? Something wrong? Is there something in that one? No, the pages are all blank. It's just... Just what? Well, there are some pictures put in between the pages back here. Three of them, it looks like. A picture of a blue, green, and red dye. Okay. <laughs> Cube, please. What the heck is this ridiculously huge thing? There's a screen down there. It looks like this is the only part you can actually interact with. But it's dark, there's nothing on it. There are some card slots underneath the screen. They look just like the ones on the polling machines in the AB rooms. So that means... We need to put some memory cards in here, right? Yeah, like the one you've got in your hand right now. Green card, huh? Well, let's see if anything happens when I put in the green slot. Red card, huh? Well, let's see if you put in the red slot. Roll the six dice to move them where they need to go. I hate this puzzle. <laughs> okay. I noticed this one's lit. Is, is, that, is there a reason for that? Because it's certainly not in the right place. Uh, okay, well... Oh, that's why. Okay. That's kind of right, but also kind of wrong at the same time. Uh... Getting this dice to do what you want it to do is like the most frustrating thing in the entire freaking world. Okay. Um, three's there, so I need. Get okay. <laughs> Have I mentioned how much I despise this puzzle? Because I, I really do. I truly do, from the bottomest of my heart, sist. I can get the three if I land it there. Um. No, God, fuck. It's. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's good. Okay. Next is four up here. Can I, can I do it by that? No, because the four is actually like right there. So to get it to where I need it to go, I need it to be, um, I have no idea. I, I have no idea how to actually get this to work. I just kind of fake it till I make it. Kind of like that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. So that's the, that's the red ones. Next is the green ones, and the green ones require a six here. Can I, can I get that by doing that? No. Can I, can I get that by doing this? Almost. Very, very close, actually. Okay, so this is the winner. Um, no, I need, I need this six to be not there. Okay. Except I, I also need it not to be there. So if I kind of, like, do... For some reason, dice puzzles are really freaking difficult for me. Okay. 
I'm one. I'm one off. I'm one off. Bingo. Okay. Why is it going to the red one every time? Okay. Uh, two needs to be up there, which means it's... Yeah. Okay. It's also bordering the red dice. Um, okay. So it's there. Um, and I need to get it to go... There. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I... I freaking hate this dice puzzle. Okay. So the blue one goes here. Be too easy. That means the one is yep. Okay. Dang, if I could get that one to be like Oh, uh per perfect. <laughs> okay. Um the five goes here, like on the bottom of the stack. Okay. I, ca I cannot wrap my head around the way a fucking dice works, but I think I've got it. No. Okay. Uh, the five is there. I need. I need it not to be there though. I need it to be like. Uh, is this gonna work? No, it's not enough rolls. Um, let's do a lap. Let's do a lap. We. It worked. So why isn't it doing anything? Is it in the wrong place? It shouldn't be. Five and one. Five, five, five and one. I'm confused. What is wrong? <laughs> Cause the it's exactly like the picture. Um. Cause it's like a knight, so you put them like that. Wait. One, two, three. No, no, that's that's right. That is a three, that is a four, two and six, one and five. <laughs> um No, that's not it. I don't get it. This should be good. Okay. In the interest of uh, getting this done, because I'm just going to be doing that over and over, and being confused as to why this isn't freaking working, uh, let's see. Q room dice puzzle. Hey! <laughs> that was like the first thing to come up as soon as I typed Q room. What's up with that? Um... Red die with five on top. What? What? Wait. They need to be exactly like the picture? What the heck does that mean? Okay, let's see which ones are right, because at least some of them have to be. Uh, the blue dice are wrong. The 
The green dice are... Okay. The, this one is good. That's... That's bloody fantastic. And I can barely even see the red one. That one's a two, so that's wrong. That one needs to be a six, so that's wrong. Oh my god. Okay. So, I have one out of six correct. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is the worst. Okay. 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 Um. I can change the configuration of it a little bit, but not in the way I need it to. So let's, um... It needs to be exactly like the picture. Who, who thought of this? Who, who came up with this torture device? I hate dice, I hate dice, I hate dice, I hate dice. Uh, this is, this is... Uh, <laughs> somebody help. Somebody put me out of my freaking misery. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's say you, it's not that bad. Screw you. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't, I don't understand how I get this to rotate the right way. Okay, that's a five and a four. Um, okay, that's that's the correct position, but the wrong spot. I'm gonna cheat. I don't want to. I've I've done so well up to this point, but this this isn't this isn't happening. I will never finish this puzzle in a hundred million years unless we we, we manipulate something. Uh, shoot, the ones over here. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... Well, instead of finale, I guess I could call this episode Getting Really Mad at Dice. Because that's basically what I'm doing. Um... No, because that won't...
I give up. I can't. I can't do this without a guide. This is. This is too. This is too ridiculous! Okay. All die will be listed from one to six. Okay. Sounds good. Let's. Let's do it. I'm sorry, but I, ju I just can't. One, one, two, three, four, what? Left to right, top to bottom from their starting placement. Huh? One, one, four. Die three, five, four, one. Up one, right two, down three, left two, up one. Okay. Three, five, one. Up one, right three. Up two, left one. One, four, two. Up one, right one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. Yeah, I, I, uh, I feel so dirty doing this, but at the same time, I just, I just can't. Um, down two, right one, up one, left one, down one, left one, up one, left one. <laughs> what? What even? Down one, right three. Up one, left one, up one, left one. Up two, right one, down one, right one. Okay! We, we made it through the dice puzzle. Yay! I, I will fully acknowledge that that was not legitimate. At the same time, screw you. <laughs> Ugh. That was the worst. Ha! Got it! After looking up a guide! I had a feeling you could do it. Good job. Have a look at this. Hey, it opened. Okay. Let's try to not use any guides from here on out. If we can help it. Blue card, huh? Well, let's see if I put it in the blue slot. Would you look at that? Looks like you turned it on. Us, A, and B are all pairs consisting of two people. C, D, and E are solos consisting of a single person. First, move the pairs A and B to the blank areas on the left under pair. Next, move solos C, D, and E to the blank areas on the left over solo. You can move them by sliding the letter icons. A pair and solo align vertically with verses. Between them will face off against one another in the A B game. You can still move icons even after you've placed them. Once an opponent has been selected, the game will begin. Choose the vote for the us pair, either ally or betray. The results of your match will be displayed along with the results from the other teams. If the correct number of people reach the target VP after playing three rounds, the game will be completed. Okay. And now we're going to look at this. Three people will definitely choose ally, three will definitely choose betray, one is this mysterious mirror man. He will always do whatever his opponent does. One is a mysterious mirror man? How? What? <laughs> three people. And they're pairs. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try this. Um, ally. Okay. Need to be careful with B because B will die. So let's put B and D against each other and see what happens. Um, A and E have six and C and us have five and we'll do this. Okay. That was interesting because A and E betrayed. So if I can get A to betray. See? 
One is a mysterious mirror man. Um, everyone else should ally except for E, I think. Hmm. This is weird. Okay. So. A. B. C. D. E. Let's, let's write that a little less sloppily. A. B. C. D. E. So, every time I put A and E against each other, that'll always happen. Okay. So, A and E are always... Um... Betray... And everyone else's ally? Is it really that simple? Very neat, always betray. C betrayed, though. So C must be the mirror. Okay. Now we just need to figure out how to make it so that this works out. Well, we can betray E. And nothing happens. Okay, okay, okay. So C will always do what their opponent does. Um. Okay, see, this is the kind of puzzle I can get behind. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, so A and B are pairs. I should probably mark that. Okay. Um, so if we betray B first... We can't betray B first. If we betray D first. Um, and then have B betray E. No. C no. Shit. <laughs> Because B will always ally. What am I doing? Um, B will always ally. C will always mirror. And these two will just betray each other. So if I do this... Doesn't everybody just betray except... Yeah, okay. So... Six three one three one six. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that actually kind of works out. Uh, so I need to betray someone one more time, and that'll be E. Except E will betray. Um, C will betray. So D is the only one who will ally. But if I get D to ally with anybody else, they'll die. So it kind of has to be B, B or C. But if D plays with anyone else. Oh, wait, we can ally. I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, okay, okay. And that'll put us at 8. That'll put us at 8. We must be the only ones to surpass 9. Okay. I'm pretty much just put the pairs the same. It's the solos that are the problem. Uh, okay, so if we ally with D, B also needs an ally, so let's go with C. A and E will just betray each other. But if he betrays B, then they die. Right? Is that how that works? Actually, I'm curious. Huh, okay, they can go negative. That's interesting. If they go negative, though, it's it's pretty much a lost cause at that point. 
Um, so we'll just do this, I guess. He ended with 12 points. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, Alright, with that known, let's use the second page since this is the final puzzle. Alright, so, round one... U and D is always a good pair, and I'll betray them. Um, gotta make that mark. Everyone else I can leave. Uh, A and C, that'll cause a betrayal. Betrayal. So it's gotta be B and C then. A and E will just cause a betrayal, betrayal, wow. Um... Yeah, let's go with A and C and B and E. That'll be game one. Okay. Okay, so now I can ally with someone. Uh, I can ally with the mirror, which will leave a betrayal and a um, ally on the board. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. <laughs> C has five, D has one. I need D to gain points here. I can't, I can't have any betrayals. Because no matter what, D will never get the points they need. I just, I just realized that. That's actually a, kind of a problem. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, D will never be able to get to those points. Strive for nine with six cooperators. With six cooperators! I'm dumb! Okay, hold on. If we're a pair, that makes us two. So it could be the three pairs or us two solos and a pair. Okay. Leaving someone to die would actually be the optimal route then. There's no way to make this so that it does nine for everyone after three games. Uh, okay. Um... C will always do what we do, so I can make them ally. B will always ally, so I need them to be s with someone who allies, and A and E can just betray each other again, I guess. That almost works. Okay, 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 okay. Betray D. A will never gain any points this way, though. Strive for nine with six cooperators. What if... What if we also lost? Now that doesn't work. Um, because the best way to do this, well, the best way to do this would be the three pairs, but you can't do it. Um, not with C being the mirror. Hmm. 
<sighs> we'll be betrayed by E. and two souls. Do A and D again, but they'll actually surpass nine. I need them to go into a stalemate with somebody. This should work. Oh wait, E also needs a stalemate, don't they? <laughs> Um. Oh, if C got two, that would actually work out, okay. Right. Okay, A and E got their stalemates, so they just need uh, people to betray. And we can escape with C by allying. What? Is that not right? Strive for nine with six cooperators. I don't get it. That, that should have worked, right? Cause there's no way to get all everyone to nine, is there? There needs to not be a single betrayal, and I don't know if that's even possible. Um, we could stalemate. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna get us there. Um, not even sometime today. Uh, B and D can always face off, I guess. Uh, uh, let's see with us. Always just stalemate. If I do that, C will ally. That's, that causes the same thing to happen, though. I'll never. I must have read it wrong. Strive for nine with six cooperators. You must be the only ones to surpass nine. That's what happened in that last one, though. I don't. Ally, sure. Oh, we were betrayed. No! And. Only one got nine. And that was actually B. Um, okay. Annie over there betraying each other. Can, can I just do this over and over? I mean, this seems like it works, sort of, but only kind of. Oh, and you just leave them to betray each other a hundred times over. Got it. 
Ha! Got it! Way to go. Good work. Hey, look, the screen changed color. So would this be... Could this be... Should this be? I knew it! That looks like a password to the safe. We did it! This should get us into that safe. That safe. That safe? What safe? Oh, this safe. Uh, I, I think I've seen something like this before. Oh, you mean one of those exercise machines where you twist your hips around? No, no, I don't think so. This doesn't look like a fitness machine to me. It kind of ruins it when you take it so seriously. This is, is, uh... Damn it, I can't remember. Screen, huh? There's nothing on it. It doesn't do anything when I touch it. How do we turn it on? Hell if I know. I don't see a button or a card slot or anything. Not a lot to do if we can, can't turn it on. Hmm, might as well leave it alone for now. I... Vaguely remember what that is, but at the same time, I don't. Oh well, not important. Let's just open the safe. <sighs> okay. Whoops. That's the director's office. Sun, moon, star. Same... Same safe we've seen in the other rooms. That means we probably open it in the same way too. We just need to plug in the password, right? Yeah, why don't you give it a shot? I've already forgotten what the password was. Sun, moon, star. Whew. Good job. You opened it. Mmm. Well done. Okay then, let's see what's in here. First off, uh... Star keys. We can use these to play the AB game as many times as we want. Hold on. Those keys are important, but... Look at this. A Accelivere! The Radical Six Cure! Oh, oh thank goodness. I, I don't know what to say. Quark is... Quark is gonna be okay. Is he crying? Alright, let's get out of here. We need to get this stuff to Quark and Alice. Yeah, you're right. This key should do the trick. Let's get moving. I honestly can't remember what that is, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Let's get the crapples out of here. I, no, I, I want the... I want the door. The door is locked. It says lock. You guys ready? All set here. Go for it. All right. Three, two, one! Two, three. Stop that! Jeez. One more time. Three, two, one! You found it. Escapist and Doctor of Escapology. Oh. It opened. We should get back to the Floor A warehouse then. Hey, wait. Did you guys hear something? I did. It was like a what? whoop. You didn't hear it? It came from over there. Oh, that's the projector. I remember now. It sounds like something turning on. See, I told you. The screen wasn't on before. You're right. Guess it was set to turn on when we opened the door. It looks like an authentication screen. I think we need to put in an ID and a password. Uh, yeah, but what? That was when I noticed the illustration. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the... Blah! Memento Mori. Remember death if the ninth lion ate the sun. Oh, of course. This was the real ninth lion. But... That was the case.
Is it the same password? If it's not, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> um, and Milkavoli. Milkavoli ravioli! Nope. Uh, Q room. If the ninth lion ate the sun. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 I wrote the past equals jumpy doll. What was the name of the person whose ID had the password? Oh! Yeah. Okay. That, I've, I feel dumb now. Okay. So her name was ku da Shiki. And the password is Jumpy Doll. Accepted. Sigma, look. You're He walked toward her, slowly, carefully, almost as if he was afraid of scaring her away, he reached out. She's a hologram. Tenmyoji squeezed his eyes shut. Akane. He closed his hand around empty air and let it fall to his side. I have a feeling I know exactly who this is, by the way. I, I've had a feeling for a little while now, ever since I learned he was looking for Akane. There was a moment of sad silence, and then she began to speak. I see you finally arrived. I've been waiting for you. Well, I suppose that's slightly inaccurate. What you see now is a holographic message I recorded before you came here. Unfortunately, this means I will not be able to answer your questions. At least not directly. I hope you will understand. Now, where to begin? You probably have a great many questions. What day is it? Where are we? Who is Zero? And what does he have to do with Akane Kurashiki? But I imagine there is one question that rises above all. Mm -hmm. In any event, you were all needed in order to execute our plan. The nonary game was necessary for the same reason. Your question now, I imagine, is just what is this AV project? The answer to that is also simple. Allow me to explain. We created the AV project for one purpose. To transport the consciousness What do you mean, the past? The moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized n no one there could answer the question. Not by, not Tim Myoji, and certainly not a pre-recorded hologram. This, the quantum room. 
It took me a moment to realize she changed subjects without even pausing. <laughs> there was nothing we could do, of course, but I still felt a twinge of frustration. How does she know we refer to him as Zero Junior? Isn't that strange, though? It seems contrary to how we perceive the world. The body, the thing that you see and interact with, is somewhere else. But the mind and all its thoughts are in this box. Perhaps it isn't so strange, though. Perhaps humans are the same, with our minds and thoughts existing Genetic field theory. Tenmyoji mumbled something that sounded like nonsense. I opened my house to, I opened my mouth to ask him what it meant, but Akane was already talking again. Is 
Yeah, of course I do. How can I forget? That little girl was you, Akane. Suddenly it felt like Fi and I were outsiders, trespassing on something we had no right to see. Tenmyoji's face was taunt. Taunt? Taught with emotion as he looked into Akane's eyes. It seemed almost like she was looking back at him. Now, unfortunately, my time is up. The final stage of the project will begin very soon. What? I need to go prepare. The next time we meet, I can tell you the rest of the story. So come and find me. And then she was gone. Tenmyoji collapsed to his knees, his back hunched and shaking. I saw tears land on the white knuckled fists he pressed against his thighs. So is he Junpei or Santa? I'm actually confused because she said something about saving her life. I kept quiet. What was there to say? Fine, I looked at one another and nodded silently. With a shaking hand, Tenmyoji pulled a photograph out of his pocket. It was a picture of a girl. After all that we'd been through, her smile was enough to break your heart. I'll agree with that. <laughs> hmm. I dropped a few frames. We made our way to the warehouse on floor A and met up with the others. It took only a few minutes to decide to head to the infirmary. Let's get some light back in here. As soon as we arrived, we began to treat Alice and Cork for Radical Six. I gave Luna the Accelivere that I'd found in the Q room. She quickly prepared it and... <laughs> Injected Alice and Cork. Don't sweat it. No need to thank us. Tenmyoji said nothing, just walked over to Quark's unconscious body. He took the small boy's hand in his own and held it tight. I could see tears at the corners of his eyes as he turned away from us. Suddenly, I remembered. Dio, where had he gone? It didn't take me long to find him. He was sprawled unconscious on the floor beneath the sink. Handcuffed to it. Very familiar image. Handcuffs. Well, we found those in the crew quarters. Before you returned, we went to check on the bomb in room two, and we found them there. 
Of course, the bomb was indeed turned off. Thank you again for dealing with them. You are, quite literally, lifesavers. You have my eternal gratitude. I coughed awkwardly and looked pointedly around the room. I glanced over at Fi to see what she was doing at the same... To see she was doing the same thing. I might play some dot hack either way. <laughs> After that, we headed back to the Flore warehouse to play the AB game. Specifically me, Fi, Kay, and Luna. Clover and Tamioji decided to remain in the infirmary just in case something happened with Alice, Quark, or Dio. <laughs> Luna would represent Clover's team. With Quark and Dio sleeping, Kay would represent their team by default. Which left me fine, Tenmyoji. Uh, you should vote. No, I'll let you handle it. I chose Betray in the last round. You probably don't trust me right now. What? That, that doesn't matter now. Excuse me. I apologize for interrupting <laughs> But I think you should be the one to vote in the next round fight. Why? You already have 9 BP. There's no reason for you to choose Betray now. You see? Hey, you're acting like I might actually try and betray her. Not necessarily. Um, what does it matter what he's suggesting? We're almost there. We just have to play the A-B game three more times. Then we can all get nine points. But that means each representative has to choose ally all three times. Okay. I'll vote. You sure you're alright with this, Sigma? Yeah. I trust you. I handed her the star key. Star key. An Embedex gate has been opened. Forty-five minutes remain until Embedex game polling closes. Oh, right. We have to wait for the deadline. Oh. Well, we could vote earlier. But then each voter would be stuck inside the AV room for 45 minutes. Hmm. That sounds kind of awkward. Luna and Kay set off toward the yellow door. I was about to follow when... Hold on. I just remembered something. What? The AB room on the left. In one of the other histories, she... Uh, oh yeah. You're right. Akane's body was in there. But not this time. What does this mean? Why didn't we find her body this time? Maybe because she wasn't murdered. But how? When did history change? Do you remember what Akane said? In the box. Is it alive? Or is it dead? Uh, the Schrodinger's cat thing. Exactly. I wonder what she meant about us deciding its fate. Perhaps she was saying her own fate wasn't decided yet. <laughs> huh? The history where she's alive and the history where she's murdered are both real right now. What? No, that's not. That's impossible. We've, we've already opened the box. We opened the door to the AB room and there was no body. found a body, but we haven't found her alive yet either. In other words, we haven't actually observed her. 
The hologram was a recording from before this game started. Where's Akane now? Why did she die so much? Where was she waiting for us? Or what if she wasn't anywhere now? What if she was waiting for us in another timeline? Or what if she was waiting for us in the past? Was that even possible? If she was, what would that mean? What? What do you mean, to be continued? A new destination has been added to the flowchart. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, she really is waiting in the past. That's weird. Alright, um, let's make the jump. Hmm. Uh, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? Looks like an elevator, but... No. This is one of the AB rooms. God! Who the hell are you? What the hell's an AP room? Damn. I guess you did lose your memory after all. Memory? Memory. I remember! You're fi! She grinned. When is this? Check your bracelet. It's a it's a red pair. BP is three. Mine's the same. Does this mean this is the beginning of the game? We've gone back to when we first woke up in the AB room? How do you know? Push the buttons on the side of your bracelet. Two hours, fifteen minutes. We didn't wake up this long before the primary doors opened last time. I think we're about an hour early. Wait a minute. If you're right. Yeah. Akane might still be alive. We got back before Dio killed her. I think. Then right. we're here for one reason. To save Akane. Because she needs saving again. <laughs> to stop her from getting killed. And at least this time she didn't burn into a fiery oblivion. Let's move. We need to get out of here fast. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's go. <laughs> Seek a way out. I'm not going to be all dramatic and stuff because we already know the password to the safe. You need to remember the password for the safe. We figured it out last time. Once a password has been found, it will never change. And so, the elevator password is star star star. There, it's open. Good work. Hurry up and grab the cracker. Cracker? Uh, damn, I meant key. How, how the hell? Just shut up and do it. Oh. 
Alright, let's just put this key in here. For God's sake, just do it already! No need to yell. Alright. Good. Looks like that worked. Ready, Fi? What do you think? I know, I know. I don't need to ask every time, right? What the hell are you asking? Hurry up and... Right, right. I'm calling, I'm calling. 10, 9, 8. 1. Done. <laughs> hey, you pushed the button. Bite me. You were taking too long. We're on a schedule here. <laughs> you found it. Yay. Toughest puzzle. Fine, I climbed up through the hatch and out onto the top of the AB room. Took us only a moment to spot them. Akane! Behind her was Dio. He was moving quickly and quietly, a knife glinting in his right hand. Shit! There was no time to yell to her. I scrambled down from the top of the AB room. Five wasn't following me. When I looked back, she was still standing on the roof. Bye! What the hell are you doing? Get down here and... Before I could finish, she moved. She ran across the roof, launched herself into the air. What the? He's fine. Just unconscious. I, I bent down and held my fingers in front of his mouth. Just in case she broke his skull or neck. He was still breathing. He, saw me. he probably has no idea what happened to him. Guy went down like a sack of potatoes. He had it coming. <laughs> I heard footsteps come to a stop right in front of us. I looked up. So you came. I've been waiting for you. You're here to hear the rest, right? <laughs> wait. Just wait a minute. What the hell is your deal? How can you be so calm? If we hadn't shown up just now, you'd... You'd... This young man and died. Yes. Although, that reminds me, I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you saving me. No, that's good. Th that what? Hold on. How do you know about being stabbed by Dio? Are you an esper too? Yes. Indeed, I am. I am able to jump through time, just like you. Then what the hell were you thinking? If you knew he was gonna stab you, why were you gonna let him do it? Because I had to. You, you what? Think back. Why are you here? If I hadn't been killed by Dio, no one else would have been murdered. Consequently, your own abilities would never have manifested. I did explain, didn't I? The purpose of the AB project was to send the two of you to the past. Or your minds, at least. In order for that to happen, some death was necessary. When a human brain is faced with danger, its processing speed increases. Information is processed more quickly. And time almost seems to slow. A few seconds can feel like an eternity. <sighs> Unfortunately, that in itself isn't enough to send oneself through time. The amplitude of the consciousness is simply too small. In order to increase the amplitude, 
We need to slow down the brain before the increase happens. It's a little like a slingshot. You pull back on the rubber band and then let go. The potential energy you stored in the band is released and converted into kinetic energy. That's what fires the bullet out of the slingshot. Now, it's not a bullet. Okay. While a slingshot can only fire in one direction, your mind isn't similarly limited. When the bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain, it travels past the three-dimensional world and into the four-dimensional one. From that perspective, mm -hmm. time is no longer fixed. In other words, you can travel to the future, the past, whenever you like. Your consciousness has been released from the three-dimensional cage. In order for that to happen, I had to infect you with Radical Six. Whoa, what? You're infected with Radical Six? Yes. Don't you remember, Sigma? Luna should have told you about it in another timeline. Are... are you sure? Infecting all of these people with such a horrible disease? Every single one of you has been infected. Well, apart from Luna, of course. Unfortunately, it was necessary. We needed to slow your minds in order to store up your potential energy. Then we provided a dire situation that would accelerate your processing speed. The result is what you are now experiencing. Your consciousness now occupies four-dimensional space-time. Even that, however, wasn't enough. You had the ability to travel, but your memories could easily be lost during the trip. If the project was to succeed, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. That was the reason you were forced to jump so many times. With each jump, your ability to remember improved. Eventually, you would be able to retain everything. That is why we made you play the A-B game. That was why you had to select different chromatic doors. By forcing specific choices, we could cause you to make more jumps. Hmm. Huh. Like a flow chart. I get it. I, th I think I finally understand. Well, okay. There are a lot of things I don't understand. But all of what you've just told me makes sense. I th think. You did all of this so that Fi and I could jump through four-dimensional space with our memories intact. Right? But why did you need us to do that? People have died for this. I mean... Let's count how many different ways people died. Murder, antimatter explosion, suicide. I've died, so has Fi. So have you. You've died many times, actually. You've died in every single timeline besides this one. So why would you do all this? What does it matter that Fi and I jump through time? Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. I already know all that. What I'm asking you is why. What is so goddamn important that it's worth all this? Ah. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. What? Just when is eventually? In the future, not. Very far from now. Bullshit! 
That's not good enough. Why can't you tell us now? Instead of answering, Akane knelt down next to Dio and picked his knife up off the floor. I'm going to keep this with me. Don't change the subject! But it's almost time. What are you talking about? We've got plenty of time. What? This is the way it has to be. Don't fight it. Lagomorph. Yes. Lagomorph? You call him Zero Junior. His official designation is Lagomorph. Lagomorph, this is an order. Unlock my bracelet. Compliance. Oh, he doesn't have nearly the amount of personality that he usually does. Now, everything is in place. I have put the bracelet onto Dio. I see that. All we have to do is place his body in the fifth AB room, the second one from the right. Okay. That's the one Quark is in, right? Correct. And dump him in. Head first. I will also put your bodies back into the third AB room. Once that's done, I will reset its puzzle to an unsolved state. Why do you need to do all that? To recreate the history that you remember. Your consciousness is about to leave your body and return to the future. Your body will be emptied and your other consciousness will jump back in. If your bodies aren't back in the third AB room by then, it would be... bad. <laughs> so you're saying some version of us is going to wake up in that room and repeat the same history again? Well, I guess this could actually be our second or third time. You are exactly correct. Lastly, I'm going to leave this with you. She paused and pulled something out of her pocket. She has a pocket on that damn thing? It was a small key attached to a string. I'll tie it onto your ankle so that you won't lose it. Alright, Sigma? Uh, what's it say on there? To free ego air. It's Latin. It means what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Yes. What am I supposed to do with it? It will help you meet someone who's very important. Zero. What? Go. Return to the future. You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. Now hurry. Wait, I still... This game is crazy, yo. To be continued. Okay, now we need to go back. <laughs> A new... A new, new destination has been added to the flowchart. I still haven't gotten the Phi ending. Alright, here we are. AB game, round three, ally. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, looks like I'm, awake. Uh, I'm so good. Where am I? Is this the infirmary? happened at the AB gate. Kay and I went back to the infirmary, but... We waited and waited, and the two of you never returned. So we went to the warehouse to check on you. We found you passed out in front of the AB rooms. Kay and I hurried back here with you. I looked over at Fi and met her eyes. 
Do you remember what happened just now? You mean what happened a long time ago? Yeah. You got him pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, I remember all right. <laughs> good good job, Pi. Hey, what are you guys talking about? That's nothing. Cork! Top liver. Alice! Back among the conscious and not psychotic, huh? Yeah, thanks. Grandpa told me what he did. Thanks for finding the medicine for us. No problem. All in the day's work. Although, I wouldn't mind a little swimsuit action. Really grabbing at straws here, aren't you? I mean, do you see Alice? She's pretty hot. I wasn't talking to Quark! That was an offer for Alice! Not really my point. Whatever. Forget about that. Now that you guys I mean, Clover pretty much wears the swimsuit. The that not good enough? Huh? What are you talking about? Look at your bracelet. Um. It it says ten. I have ten BP. I've got fifteen BP. That Jesus, that's a lot. While I was out. But how? You've been asleep for more than two hours. We've played the AB game three times. Three times. Assignments were shuffled around each time, but no matter who voted, everyone chose ally. Yay! And now all of us have enough to leave. Beautiful. I was stunned. How had everyone cooperated long enough to raise all of our BP past 9? Well, obviously Dio stole Chains of the Sink, but was it because Akane hadn't been killed? Without a death to start things off, maybe we'd been less suspicious of one another. Or could the bombs have had something to do with it? We'd all joined forces against Dio, and Fi and I had been able to disarm all of them. All of us had banded together against a common enemy and overcome a tremendous threat. Perhaps that had strengthened our bond. I'd put it at rank 10. I, I think that's fair. Which, I had to admit, would be somewhat ironic. After all... Dio planted the bombs that forced us all to work together against him. This must have been what Akane was talking about. Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. Come on, let's go! We blew up so many times. Wait. Uh, what about him? After some discussion, we decided to leave Dio behind. Fuck him. Alice was the only holdout. She'd complained about wanting to take him back to her superiors. But after I mentioned they'd come back to investigate after we escaped and deal with Dio then, she reluctantly complied. You know, we never did figure out exactly where we are. Right. <coughs> Let's get going. Good close to the end, guys. Sorry, I had to check something. Everybody ready? I'm gonna open it. Yes, just get on with it. <laughs> Everyone's like, stop asking! Everyone else swallowed and nodded. I grabbed the lever and pulled it down.
the number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's move. I didn't need to tell them twice. The room inside was clearly a loading elevator. Looked sort of like a large plate on top of a huge pedestal. We ran to the center of the plate and turned around. The number nine door stood wide open. It ends the nonary game for the final time. Beyond the door was a wide hallway that ended in a very solid wall. To the left we found a very familiar looking door. We pushed it open and went in. The pressure exchange chamber. You know what this place is? Y yeah, sort of. Uh, this whole facility is pressurized, apparently. I think the idea is to keep the air outside and consequently the virus from getting inside. That means that if we want to go out, we have to decompress so we match the outside air pressure. This room here is where you prepare for going into the actual pressure exchange room. You see all those suits along the wall? I figure we need to put those on and head to the decompression room downstairs. He just, he just figures that. Whoa! Hold on a minute! You're saying the air outside is full of that horrible virus? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Of course, according to Akane, we were all already infected with Radical 6, so the whole room seemed a little pointless. Why? How did all this happen? Did... did they... No, that's not possible. We've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's go outside. There's no way to know what's really going on until we do. All right. No one else objected. We all donned the protective suits and headed downstairs to the decompression room.
I mean, does, does Kay really need it, though? As soon as we were all inside, the process began. Through my helmet, I could hear the soft hiss of air begin being sucked out of the room. Okay, I guess we won't do anything else uh, today. We stood there for several minutes, waiting for the process to finish. At last it did, and we heard the door begin to open. Beyond it was another decompression chamber. We repeated the process two more times before we reached the final door and opened it. What's the key for, though? <laughs> The dead, bleak landscape wasn't a surprise for me. I'd seen it before in another timeline. The others hadn't, however, and although I couldn't see their faces through the visors of their helmets, I heard more than a few gasps of the radio. For a few long moments, we just stood there astonished. Where the hell are we? The desert, I guess? I figured that out. I mean, which one? I don't know, but I think I know what day it is. Hmm? Look at the moon. It's red, right? That means today's the total lunar eclipse. So? And a few hundred years. Wherever we were, it must have been far away from any city. The air was clearer than I'd ever seen it. And the stars, the sky was full of them. More stars than I'd ever seen in my life. I could even spot the hazy arm of the Milky Way. But the most striking feature was the moon. It was blood red and massive. Much bigger, in fact, than I remembered it being. Then as I watched, a black spot began to move across its surface. It was hard to see details, but it looked circular. The spot continued to move across the moon heading for the right edge. What's that? Well, the moon's shadow, actually. The moon's shadow? I frowned. That, that didn't make any sense. What the hell are you saying? Think about it. If that's the moon's shadow, then what's it falling on? That's Earth. Yeah. It's not the red moon you get from a lunar eclipse. Then again, this isn't a lunar eclipse. It's a solar eclipse. Anybody in the black spot down there is looking up at the moon covering the sun. What? No! No way! If that's the Earth, then where the hell are we? The moon, genius. The moon, of course. This is the lunar surface. We were just inside a moon base. No way. No, you've got to be lying. How do you expect us to believe that? This can't be the moon. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Besides, if this was the moon, how do you explain the gravity? Six of the Earth's gravity. So what's this? 
She picked up a rock and dropped it. Luna. You were right about the gravity in a way. I was one of the people who knew this wasn't Earth. Well, I suppose I'm not people if we're being honest, but... Excuse me? What? Please just listen. <laughs> Shut up. Well, your brains. You us. Said, us people. It seemed insane, but what Luna said made sense. Uh, especially considering we've been time traveling all this time. In fact, it explains Fi's superhuman strength quite well. Twenty nine. Don't tell me. Thirty? Still no. Just what year is this? It's seventy four. Two thousand seventy four. No, that's insane. That would mean we were abducted more than forty five years ago. Ding.
What? Why? I was speechless. <clears throat> what could I possibly say? There was no reason for Tenmyoji to lie to us. <coughs> so we were standing on the moon. Looking at the Earth. It was 2074. But why? Why were we there? Why were we then? <coughs> I was so lost in thought, I barely noticed Fi's approach. Hey, Sigma. I think I figured something out. A window popped up on the inside of my helmet with Whisper in the corner. She seemed to be using a circuit only we could hear. Yeah? What is it? 
An extra E? Oh, you mean the graffiti. What's Anna say this time? God damn it, Sigma. Knock it off. Memento Mori of the Ninth Lion ate the sun. If you rearrange the letters, you get The Man on the Moon rules the infinite time. See? You need six E's to get that. So they stuck an extra one in ninth. <laughs> The man on the moon rules the infinite time. Hmm. He gets a message for us from Zero Senior at Akane. Remember what she was telling us? We created the AV project for one purpose. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma, and you, Bond. So, um, what are you getting at? My god, you're slow. You don't get it? They're saying we rule the infinite time. Infinite time. They weren't just talking about having us jump a couple hours. I think they're planning to send us back. Way back. Oh, wait a minute. Are you saying you think they're gonna send us back 45 years? So the ultimate purpose of the AB project is to send us back in time to that catastrophe Ten Miyoji was talking about. I think so. That doesn't make sense though. I mean, we came from that same time period before it actually. Whoops. I, I clicked on it. Thing in a different window by accident because my stupid touchpad won't deactivate when I tell it to. Okay. So why bring us here and then send us back? Do you know where she is? I've got an idea. Come on. Yeah. Blem. To free Eagle Eris. The grave! The one in the garden! Well, come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go. We turned and ran back into the pressure exchange chamber, the others following close behind. Because they were probably confused as to what the fuck we were doing. What? What are you doing? Did you forget something? We're going to go have a talk with somebody. Who? You really need me to spell it out? The person behind all this. You mean Akane? What? Okay, zero. I'm coming with you. You folks just said the magic word. I'm going to the So am I. Hey, um, is this a Kane you're talking about? Yeah. You know her real well. Wait, you you're not you're serious? What the hell is going on? <laughs> uh shut up! Shut up. Come if you want to. We don't need to do roll call. <clears throat> <coughs> Once we get there, Akane can explain everything. With that, we headed back through the airlock. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 I, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. 
We're almost there. Just a little bit more. A little bit longer. And then we can achieve the true ending that we s that we have fought, that we have died for many, many times over, mostly to bombs. The number nine door on floor eight is shut forever once the game ends. Assuming Zero Junior was telling the truth, of course. But the door on floor B. Yeah, thought we might be able to take the lift to it, and it looks like I was right. <laughs> Any idea where Akane might be? <laughs> so all this time, we could have had somebody go in there and then come down and open the door for us. Oops. Yeah, don't worry. I don't think she's buried there or anything. Yeah, the grave. Okay. Chances are she's alive. Just, um, in the grave. It- it sounds weird. Anyway, let's move. To the garden. Bee garden. It actually stood for before garden! No, that makes no sense. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my theory from original that that stands for botanical. Because it makes more sense. To fui ego eris. Is Akane really under here? I think so. What should we do? Are we gonna dig her out? No, no. Uh. <sighs> I don't think we'll have to do anything like that. You see the keyhole on the grave? If I just, um. Insert this here. I pulled the key off my ankle and I fitted it into the hole. I twisted it to the right until I heard something unlock. With a quiet grinding, the grave began to shift. What is this? It doesn't look like a coffin. Yeah, it's a treatment pod. Oh my god. It is, isn't it? The glass on the cover had frosted over, making it opaque. Opaque. We couldn't see who or what was in it. Let's see what's in Time the for the answers! She grabbed a hold of the lever on the side of the pod. No good. I think it's locked. What? Treatment pod. T. P. Zero, zero. Stage one, defroster complete. Stage two will be complete in ten minutes. Once stage two is complete, the lock will automatically disengage. Thanks, lady. Right, cold sleep. What? These pods can put people in the cold sleep. It uses something called CAS to freeze human bodies without destroying their cells. So, Ms. Akane's like an ice cube? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Until she melts? Yeah. So how about you tell us your story while we wait, Kay? Specifically, why do you know Akane? I remembered. What do you remember? Everything. I was born and raised in this facility. It's called Rhizome 9. A rhizome is an underground plant stem that spreads by sending out roots. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? This facility is a little like a rhizome. Supposedly, that's why they call these installations that. The number comes from the facility's number. There are 54 rhizomes on the moon, and this is the ninth one. Well, I suppose the other ones don't really matter to you, do they? In any event, I grew up here with Akane and Zero Senior. I watched them create the AB Project. The AB Project? Yes, 
Its purpose is to send Phi and Sigma, or their consciousnesses at least, to the past. Back 45 years, right? Yes. So, you want us to change history, huh? Go back and keep Radical 6 from getting out, and stop the reactors from exploding. That's our mission? Well, not exactly. Oh, uh, what do you mean? It's true that the ultimate goal of the project is to keep Radical 6 from spreading to the general population. But even if you do make it back, you won't be able to do much. By now, it's already too late. Too late? What do you mean? Let me begin at the beginning. You might be thinking that Zero Senior and Akane were the ones who created all this. But that's not entirely correct. They only followed the histories they'd already seen. It was the only choice they had. Nothing less than the future of mankind is at stake. We need the two of you to jump through timelines while maintaining your memories. That is why you had to play the A-B game. Why the chromatic doors were necessary. By forcing multiple options, you could make numerous jumps. We speculated that jumping more would strengthen your memories. The puzzles were also there for a purpose. Some theories hold that a moment of insight when you solve a puzzle strengthens your connection to the fourth dimension. That was the reason for the puzzles. Your infection with Radical Six was also a vital part of our plan. By slowing down your brain's processing speed, we can store your potential. With that energy stored up, we just had to provide a life or death situation to launch your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Like a bullet from a slingshot. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Wait. Hold on just a minute here. You keep talking about Sigma and Phi, but what about the rest of us? Why did you bring us here? That's simple. In earlier histories, you were all here in Rhizome 9. We needed you here to accurately replicate those histories. Although I suppose that's probably not a good enough explanation for you. In a sense, though, it is the truth. Our primary goal was to replicate history. The rest is... Yes, I suppose I should explain. Very well. I will try and do so in a way you can understand. Good luck. First, Alice and Clover. They were abducted 45 years and one month ago, on December 22nd, 2028. The location is Earth, of course. More specifically, Los Angeles, California. Correct? Yes. Yeah. After being kidnapped, your bodies were sent to a facility under Akane's direction. You were placed in treatment pods and immediately put into cold sleep. Four months later, you arrived at this facility. The date you finally arrived was April 14th, 2029. Your trip from Earth to this facility was aboard a spaceship powered by an annihilation engine. Following your arrival, your pods were placed in long-term storage. Does that make sense? Are you telling me we were sleeping in those pods here for 45 years? Mm -hmm. Yes, in preparation for this day. But why? What do you need us for? You are an Esper, aren't you, Clover? I mean that you are able to access the fourth dimension. Am I wrong? Did Akane tell you? In a manner of speaking. As I've already explained, the purpose of this project is to send Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the past. Espers are able to sort of resonate with one another, which can amplify their power. You understand? This is why we brought you here, Clover. What about me? We needed your help, Alice, to deactivate Dio's bombs. Huh? But I didn't do anything. But you did. In another history, you were able to perform a prime decomposition on the 25-digit integer that Dio left behind. Only you could do that sort of thing. Because of your feat of mathematics, we were about to determine that Dio had planted the bombs. Then we were able to question him and get the password for the number 31. Finally, we use that information to stop the bomb in this timeline. Without your help, Alice, we would have been reduced to nothing more than so much space dust. This history exists because of your presence. Now, 
Let me explain why we needed Ten Miyoji and Quark. And Ten Miyoji is simple. We needed you for the same reason we needed Clover. You are able to access the fourth dimension. Almost half a century ago, you used that ability to save a young girl, didn't you? Yeah, I did. We needed you to resonate with Sigma and Phi, so we brought you here. All is wah, 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 wah. If you want to see Akane, if you do, come with me. I was a fool and fell for it. And you brought Quark with you. In fact, you insisted that he come. Yeah, I know. I guess you were worried about leaving me alone, huh? He kept saying he couldn't run off to the moon and leave me behind. I'm sorry, Quark. If I hadn't been so stupid and selfish, none of this would have happened to you. I never thought this would happen. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I agreed to come with you. I thought the moon would be way more interesting than boring old Earth. What kid would turn that down? We didn't see the message <laughs> after we got on the ship. It was on autopilot. As soon as we got in, I headed straight for the moon. During the trip, Zero told me to keep quiet once we got there. I don't remember anything after we landed. Then there was a bunch of that white smoke, and we passed out. And when I woke up, I was in the AB room. Now, Dio. His real name is Left. And he's the leader of a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. He was ordered to come here. The Myrmidons are under the control of an organization called Free the Soul, which is in turn controlled by a man known as Brother. It was Brother who orchestrated the release of Radical Six into the general population 45 years ago. Do you remember what Phi mentioned earlier? The ultimate purpose of the AB project is to change history keep Radical Six from being released. If we succeed, that would be bad for Brother and his organization. Our success would prevent them from creating the ideal world they're working toward. That is why Brother sent Left, his trusted lieutenant, to this facility. They needed to stop the AB project. So, Dio was given two tasks. The first was to eliminate Akane, the architect of the AB project. The second was to join the AB game and win it. If Dio won the game, the AB project would not be completed, at least not in that timeline. In other words, in that world, the project would have been stopped. If things didn't go as planned, Dio was given a contingency plan. If you cannot murder Akane and win the game, destroy Rhizome 9. Hence, the bombs. Ask you something. Oh, hello. Perhaps. <clears throat> How did you know about the AB project? He was also an expert. We can set crazy stuff is happening. May I proceed? Is brother Snake? No one objected. We we're all curious. Excellent. That explains everyone, save two, Luna, and myself. Sigma and Phi already know the truth about Luna. I don't believe I should reveal any more, however. I think it would be more appropriate if you could ask Luna yourselves at a later time. Would that be alright with you, Luna? Yes. That's okay. As for me, as I said before, I was born and raised here. The rest of you were brought to this facility, but I've never left. That makes me someone close to Zero Senior and Akane. Hey, I've been wondering, who is Zero Senior? You've already met him, Sigma. In another timeline. Yeah. Well, I saw a hologram. I still don't know who he is. Stage 2 is complete. Everything is indeed coming together. We are at the very end. This is... This is nuts. This is totally nuts. Looks like it's finished. Shall we open the pot? I'm also hungry, so I hope it ends soon. <laughs> because I don't want to eat on camera and be yelled at again. 
All of us gathered around the pod. The glass was still covered with frost, hiding the contents. Okay. Let's get started then. Ready? Vi laid her hand on the lever and looked around at us. I swallowed. Yeah, anytime. Alright. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, nothing's stopping you from eating. I would assume. What? Suddenly, my head was full of memories from other timelines. I'd seen something like this before. The warehouse of floor B. In front of the white door. K was lying in front of me. I grabbed his mask and saw... My own face. I'd never figured out who he really was. Why was there a man with my face underneath Kay's armor? It didn't make sense. After I'd seen him, I was injected with Turbo Cure and... And that was the end of that. But... Wait... If the person in the pod was the same person I'd seen on the floor of the warehouse... Who was wearing Kay's armor? You finally noticed. Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. No! Oh my god! Yes. You're... I am. <laughs> Akane Kurashiki. You? June! I, I mean, Akane, from... But you're wrong. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Or you, Junpei. Dun-dun-dun! Akane. Long time no see. I could... I could barely hear what they were saying. My mind was still reeling. This, this game just loves its twists. It felt like all the air had been knocked out of me. It was all I could do not to collapse right then and there. When? How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? Uh-huh. Once you saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did. I carried your bodies to the third AB room, and then took Dio's to the fifth room. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. So by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. Dio killed you. And, the, and then Luna took your body to the sixth room. You couldn't have been in Kay's armor. No, it was me. In this timeline, at least. In this one, I wasn't murdered by Dio. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. Your actions in the future decided who would be inside the armor in the past. What? No, that's nuts! Alright, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved. What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. 
He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. Large doses of soporin can cause memory loss. I gave him a rather large dose. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. <laughs> hey, come on. What are you guys saying? Right here? Same face? And then it was that moment where we realized we'd never seen a mirror. Huh? What? It didn't make any sense. Why didn't they recognize me? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. What does that mean? Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future from 45 years ago. Uh huh. Gar! I looked around frantically. A pond. I, I ran to it and threw myself down onto my knees. Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. Cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, damn it. <laughs> I struggled to take deep breaths. Then slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond looking for my reflection. What? N no. This can't be real. This face. Sigma Klein. Although, to the you that's behind it now, it's your face 45 years from now. Zero. The mastermind of the AB project is you. What? No, that's not possible. That's bullshit. It's the truth. Fighting it isn't going to do you any good. Please, doctor. I'm not a doctor! You will be a pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. You're lying. No, I'm not. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going. Create. His name is Kyle Klein. Your clone. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. Twenty-three years ago, in the bio lab here in Rhizome 9, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and raised here, I was still pretending to be him. The gravity here is only one-sixth of Earth's. If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. But you prepared for that. You gave him that armor. Ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it kept his muscles and bones strong. He wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. He's been wearing it every day all his life. But why would I? Why would future me create a clone? He was to be your spare. If something happened to you before the project began. He would take your place. I mentioned before that the AB projects A and B stood for after 
and before. That isn't all they mean, though. The A also means anima, and the B means body. Anima is another word for the for soul and mind. Body We've suddenly entered Log Horizon. <laughs> Somebody help me. Will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. They switch. That was the chief goal of the project. Wait, so the future person goes into the past person? Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? You mean this, right? Yes. Ah, of course, it was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. Yeah. Sigma, take a good look at this. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. A is where everything began. December 25th, 2028. You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. From there, you jumped to B. January 25th, 2074. You woke up in one of the AB rooms in Rhizome 9. You are in your own body, but it is 67 years old. Your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. The body you woke up in was much older. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. Moving on. If you continue along this line, what happens next? You reach C, which is January 27, 2074. That is today. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? 36 hours to be exact. Have you already? Forgotten. You were all infected with radical sex. The virus slowed your brain down. So yes, 36 hours of real time have passed. But to you, it only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now comes the important part. After this, your consciousness will return to the past. It will re-emerge at point D. April 13th, 2029. You will return to your younger body. But that's the same day as the reactor explosions. Yes. That is why I said it will be too late. You will return to the past, but the events you would want to prevent will have already happened. The story does not end there, however. The line continues. After reaching point D, you will eventually return to B. But this time, you won't be jumping through time or at least not at a rate faster than normal. Your consciousness will spend 45 years inhabiting the same body until you reach point B. Do you remember when B is, Sigma? January 25th, 2074. Uh, according to what you just told us 36 hours ago. <clears throat> that was when the consciousness of the 22-year-old Sigma 
jumped into the body of 67-year-old Sigma. So where did the older version of you go when you took his body? Point A. December 25th, 2028, the day all of this started. Yes. His <clears throat> consciousness will go back in time 45 years. For a period of time, he will inhabit your younger body. While your younger consciousness is elsewhere, he will be you in the past. But once that body reaches point D, my 22-year-old consciousness will come back from point C. That's correct. When that happens, the older version of you will be ejected from your younger body and return to your body at C. So it's rotating? Rotating. I suppose you could put it that way. But look at this illustration closely. What if you take all these lines and untangle them? You get one single line. It may look complicated, but in truth, it's a single straight path. With one exception. This line here at point E, right? Exactly. Exactly. Point e is December 31st, 2028. The day of the total eclipse. The day Radical Six got out of the test facility. Yes. By now you've likely figured it out on your own. The purpose of the AB project was to get the consciousness of the 67-year-old Sigma from point B to point A. If we can do that, we can change what happened 45 years ago. So the old version of me will keep Radical Six from getting out. By jumping into my 22-year-old body on New Year's Eve 2028. have to go through point D. In order to get to point D, we must jump from point C. And for point C to happen, we had to recreate everything that happened in this facility. That is why we have faithfully retraced history up to this point. So that we might save humankind from destruction and undo the horrors of the last 45 years. <coughs> Tell me one thing. What is that? You said that point C is January 27th, 2074, which is today. Uh, mostly? There's going to be a jump, and I'll jump to April 13th, 2029. Yes, that's right. But look, I'm still old. When is this jump supposed to happen? Very soon. Soon? Yes. And what's going to trigger it? We need potential energy stored to send your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Fortunately, we now have plenty of that. Thanks, ironically, to Radical Six. All that remains is to launch your consciousness, like a bullet from a slingshot. And how do you propose to do that? Didn't I tell you? A crisis. A moment balanced between life and death. That can jumpstart your brain. Uh, what do you mean? I figured it out. I mean this. Dio's knife. No sooner were the words out of my mouth than the knife was in my face. Oh, bye. 
I screamed and leapt toward them. Connie was already in motion, the knife diving toward Vi's chest. I was almost there! When I regained consciousness, I was on the floor. There was a dull pain in my chest. I felt for a cut, but something was in the way. It, it took me a moment to realize that it was Akane's body lying on top of me. I twisted my neck to look around. Nearby was an old tombstone. On it was written a few words in Latin. Tu fui ego eris. What you are, I was. What I am, you will be. And that is it. I guess. <sighs> I'm guessing that's where Zero Time Dilemma picks up. Is that Lunar Facility thing that they were... Or the Nevada test site they were talking about. Man, that... Whew, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was so crazy. <laughs> But, I guess that's all for Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward, the Nonary Games. Um, damn. <laughs> this, I, I said something about the first game making less sense than this one, until this final timeline happens. <laughs> and then it's like, I don't mm, <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> I definitely still think this is better than the first one, though. That... That's just constant. The puzzles were really good, save for a couple of them. Like, like a couple of dice puzzles, or a trapezoid puzzle. Even though the trapezoid puzzle is technically, um... Optional. But, it certainly leaves an interesting cliffhanger, doesn't it? And I'm curious to see... It's actually not over. Yeah, I had a feeling. It'll be like a prologue into ZTD. I'm assuming so. This, this music is pretty awesome, though. I'm gonna guess that's the Phi ending that we were working towards all this time. Yeah, I, hmm, I guess it made sense though, as soon as you see, like, um, K in his armor when he is Sigma, or when he's Kyle. A new destination has been added to the flowchart. Time after time, new achievement. And suddenly we're way back. Alright, well, um, let's see what's going on. Headquarters, April 13th, 2029.
Goodbye. Well. For a moment, I just stared at the TV. The roar of the static seemed to fill the entire room until, with a click, it disappeared too. It's actually cool that I was using my kind of older Batman voice for Sigma up until this point. Had the power gone out? I heard footsteps behind me and turned around. You! Akane. It looks like the first step was successful. What the fuck? You killed me! Killed? I, I guess technically you're gonna kill me 45 years from now, but still! Hey, no need to be rude about it. Uh, I didn't kill you. I hit you with the butt of the knife. You're fine. I'm okay. Yes. You and Fi needed to experience a state of crisis. Uh, that was the only way. Me and Fi? Yes. I only told you about you, but we also needed Fi to jump. Now, you know what happens next, right? Um, we go to the moon? Correct. We will be leaving tomorrow, April 14th, 2029. We've nearly finished preparing your shuttle. Only a few last minute checks and additions. You'll be traveling to Rhizome 9, along with three treatment pods. I did notice it said something about younger Alice. Uh, yes. A younger Akane. Alice and Clover, right? What about the third one? Who's in there? Five. We put her into cold sleep two days ago. She appeared at our headquarters and volunteered to be frozen. That wasn't the Phi who jumped from point C, though. It was Phi before she jumped from point A to point D. In other words, she was following the same path you are. And she still is. Then that means after you froze her, the point C version of her jumped back into her body? Yes. The point C version of Phi is sleeping in that pod. She'll stay there for the next 45 years, sleeping in ice. Then when she gets to point B, her consciousness will jump to point A, right? Correct. Huh. So that's why she didn't look old. So why don't you just stick me in one of those pods? Oh, so I guess in the future, why not? He's actually just a lecherous old man. Oops. Working on the AB project. After arriving at Rhizome 9, you must master genetic engineering and artificial intelligence programming, among other disciplines. Otherwise, you will be unable to create Kyle, Luna, and Lagamore. And, of course, you will need to develop the chromatic doors and the bracelets. You will also be the person who summons Tenmyoji and Quark. Once you've completed all the preparations, then the project can actually begin. January 25th, 2074. You will defrost Phi and carry her to the third AB room. Once you've done that, the 22-year-old version of you from point A will force you out. And you'll just go back 45 years to your own body on December 25th, 2028. And then I change history. Do you really think I can keep the virus from getting out? You have to. If you don't, billions of people will die. Only you and Fi can save them. What about you? Aren't you an Esper too? I can't do anything on my own. If this is going to work, I'll need your help.
So, what do I need to do? What do you mean? Like, what specific actions do I need to take? <laughs> when Fi and I jump to point A, what are we gonna do then? You'll both enter the Mars mission test site. And after that? I don't know. What? I'm sorry. I really don't know anything about what happens in there. We don't know how the Radical Six escaped. We don't even know why it was there in the first place. Ah, oh, crap. Then we're screwed. That's why we need your help. You have the ability to jump through time and across parallel worlds. We need you to figure out what happened in that test facility. And we're going to be doing that a lot, I think. Things will be difficult. And I'm sure you will find yourself in a great deal of danger. But I believe the two of you can overcome any obstacle. Wait. How do you know it's so dangerous? The 67-year-old version of you told me what happened. He wasn't able to stop the virus. So I suppose you could say you told me after you failed. Um, what did he What did I say? That the test facility is full of traps. There was one point a woman's life was in danger. You risked yourself for her sake and lost your arms and your right eye. My my arms and my eye? What the hell? Suddenly a low rumble shook the building. What was that? Go have a look. I moved slowly to the window and peered outside. On the horizon, I could see a massive mushroom cloud climbing slowly toward the sky. Would I... Would we really be able to change the course of history? No. That was the wrong way to look at it. It couldn't be a question. I had to change history. We could save the world. I am going to change history. I stared at the darkening skies above us and steeled myself. I would succeed. I understand why people were so excited for the third game to come out now. The anticipation must have been killing them. End or beginning? And we get the final achievement that I'm going to be getting, Fire and Ice. But that is all for Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. We'll continue this saga in... Wait, hold on, what? It's a question mark. How's there still a question mark? Does something happen there? Um, alright, let's make the jump. I just, I just realized what it means when it says, do you wish to jump? That, that was very, very clever. Whoa, I'm, I'm speaking suddenly. Okay, uh, hold on. We're not done yet. <laughs> Am I ever gonna be freaking done? I lurched upright, jumped off the bed, and ran around to the other side of the partition. The mirror over the sink was covered with a film of dirt. I wiped it off with my sleeve, and my reflection stared back at me. There was no mistake. The reflection belonged to Kyle Klein. So I'm Dr. Klein? 
Zero Senior's clone? What? How do you know that? Shouldn't you still be suffering from amnesia? An excellent question, one I didn't know the answer to myself. I knew who Kyle Klein was. In another history, he had been called K. Kyle, okay. And worn a suit of armor. He hadn't just worn the armor in that history, though. Apparently, he'd worn it all his life. Kyle had been born and raised in this lunar installation, which seemed to be called Rhizome 9. Rather late in his life, Akana had appeared as a mother figure, and he had consequently grown very attached to her. I knew everything about him. But even though I knew it, I didn't feel it. Was that really Kyle Klein? Every time I looked in the mirror, I saw his face. The spitting image of Sigma Klein in his younger days. I looked down. There was Dio, still handcuffed. I turned back around to Luna. <laughs> I gave him a kick in the face. day of the AB project. Akane has explained everything in the garden. And she drew a knife and attacked Phi. How long have I been asleep? About five hours in real time. For them, it would have seemed like a little more than two hours. So they still haven't been treated for their radical six? No, they've all been given the antiviral. It just takes a while to have an effect. I see. So the consciousness of the younger Sigma has gone back into the past. It should have happened right after Akane attacked Phi, right? Yes. Why am I here? The doctor carried you back here. You were in the pod in the garden. So the person you call the doctor is Sigma Klein, as inhabited by his age-appropriate consciousness. Yes, but and how do you know that? Dio seems to have remained unconscious. Yes. I've been administering Sulfuril whenever he gets restless. <laughs> what about the others? They've all gone off to different areas. Ten Miyoji and Quark, for instance. I guess this is an epilogue. Oh, um... Right! Mr. Klein! So the sleepyhead's finally up, huh? What are you two doing here? You don't know where we are? This is the upper floor of the pressure exchange chamber. The real one. Mm-hmm. We were just about to get dressed and head out. You plan to return then? To Earth, I mean. Yeah. Sigma told us where we could find the shuttle that brought us here. Well, guess he's not really the Sigma I knew anymore. He's Dr. Klein now, or, or Zero Senior, depending on how you look at it. Why? What do you mean, why? Um, well, I'm just curious why you would choose to return to a devastated planet when you could stay here. How's staying here gonna help? You aren't gonna say something idiotic about how we should wait here until Sigma changes the past, are you? You can't wait for something that's already happened. Grammar doesn't work that way. Hell, nature doesn't work that way. <laughs> you following me? We've already lived through history. Sigma failed to keep the virus from getting out. About 45 years ago, Radical Six created a pandemic, and the antimatter reactors blew up. That all happened. Whatever Sigma does in the past, history's not going to change. In fact, it's because of what he did, or didn't do in the past, that we've got this past and present. Let me give you an example. Imagine a group of 100 motorcycles driving down an endless freeway. Eventually, they hit a juncture. The road splits in two. One freeway continues off northwest, and the other stretches out to the northeast. So one guy, we'll call him S, pipes up. Let's go northwest, he says. So they take the northwestern road. 
but about a mile past the intersection, something horrible happens. A semi driving the other way veers into their lane and plows through the bikers. Ninety of them die. The surviving ten are wounded, but survive. They don't stop, though. They keep riding down that highway, and eventually, they'd gone 10,000 miles. Then suddenly, something happens that they couldn't have predicted. S, who had survived, suddenly has his consciousness thrown back in time. He ends up back in his own body, just before they reach the junction. He remembers everything. So what does S do? What anybody would do? Let's go. Goes narcissist. Yeah. That means all 100 of the bikers survive <coughs> to reach their destination, happy and healthy. And they all live happily ever after. That's what you're thinking, right? It's a great outcome for the 100 bikers that went northeast. But what about the 10 that went northwest and survived the accident? Huh? Wouldn't it be nine people? I mean, S's mind went back in time, right? Uh, right. Okay, nine people then. What happens to the reality they were living? Does it just disappear when S changes the past? No. It's not as if it was only bad things that happened during that 10,000 mile trip. Maybe one of them fell in love with a woman working at a gas station they stopped at and had a child. Maybe one of them picked up a homeless kid who joined them on the adventure. <laughs> that 10,000 mile journey would be full of stories. Friendships, farewells, romances. The loss of those 90 lives is horrible and unfortunate. But what would rewriting their history mean? The nine who survived lived full lives. How can it be right to just erase all that? The survivors overcame their own misery and loss and made the best they could of the hand they'd been dealt. Isn't that worth something? Isn't that the best thing that humans can aspire to? Is there really any point to a world where everything is happy? Are people who struggle for a better life just idiots being human is about fighting even when it seems hopeless and finding happiness even in a world that hates it are you saying that's worthless if you're saying rewriting the past will erase all these other timelines then whatever god wrote those rules can f <sighs> look i'm just not going to look the cork all right all right you get it if sigma changes the past then you and cork will never meet I is he right? No. It's not gonna happen. We're here, right now. This is reality. Even if Sigma does change the past, we're not just gonna disappear or something. Oh! Then that means we get to stay together? <sighs> Good. Thanks, kid. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Why you want to return to Earth is clear. You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? No, no point saying anything to Dio. <laughs> <laughs> you were asleep, too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. Ugh, I'm not a fan of ratings. Um, what about Sigma? Well, he's not probably an eight, maybe a nine. Nine might be stretching it a bit, though. I've given other games that I see. That's why I hate rating systems. An eight or a nine. I'll just leave it at that. Out of ten, in case anyone was curious, because they can't see the chat. But, Kurashiki, I know, isn't here. She's not anywhere. Hmm. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Still, it's not like we were completely resentful. We had to be here to help change the past. That part's easy to understand. But. Kinda sucks, though. I mean, Sigma and Phi have it easy. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. 
In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the Northwest. We are stuck in the reality where the 90 <laughs> bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. One way we could get back to the past. Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. How on earth does she plan to do that? Schrodinger's cat. Oh, hey, Kyle. Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sure. Circumstances make that an impossibility. Haven't I heard this before? Everything I know, Fi should also know. Oh, okay. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle, that is. What does he mean, other than Kyle? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Well, right, well. I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Fi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or a Merman or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Please don't dodge the question. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something, which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D, April 13th, 2029. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. Although by then, you were in cold sleep. You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. You slept there, frozen, until the time was right. Then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out, even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AV room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out and sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. 
Unfortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is and then we start the cycle again. Your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places. And you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about you got right. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. Since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1 plus V2. You see what I'm saying? In most situations, it works, even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about, Ray. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. So was that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What Eight happened? days. How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because it would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. You understand? I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then where the hell did you learn all this stuff? I just listened to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. <laughs> you were sleeping in the pod in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. I shall give you your answer. You are not Kyle Klein. Your body is Kyle's, but your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle? Or could you be someone else entirely? Then, where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th, 2028. Oops. His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He raised him on his own. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past and leave Kyle behind here? I know what I told the others. That Kyle was Dr. Klein's 
despair. But that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new mission begins on Christmas <coughs> and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of Wrong the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely necessary. And that is why he created it? Yes. So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Kyle has gone back to 2028 to participate in his mission. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. Does that mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. That's ridiculous. What's going to happen to me? Are you telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box, living in a borrowed body? No, not at all. You can travel freely through time and space. You are an uncontrolled variable that entered our closed system. As such, the rules of this world do not apply to you. I, I have no idea what... Please don't try to play dumb. I know what you are. Surely you must know by now, too. <laughs> you are about to go into the past and save the world. Bye and Sigma. Even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028? Well, yes, I do, but... Then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If by our... can change the motion of a particle... Our... Then how is it... Cognition? That human That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine. Remember what I've told you. Only you can change history. Only you. Just trying to remember when what I was supposed to start next after this one. Okay. Can save the world. And that is finally all for Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Alternative end. And we got a new achievement. A certain point of view. Now we're going to check the timeline again. Okay, we're good. That's it. That's all of it. December 25th, 2028. We're going back there. But it'll be a while. It'll be a very long while. Well, I, I have a couple of games to play, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But, until then, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to ring the little bell for notifications on all my uploads. Um, if you are interested in my Twitch and Twitter information on my streams, that information will be in the description below. Until then...
We are going to uh, switch gears quite dramatically. And I'm going to go play a platformer. But that'll be next week. Until then, later guys.